Back here at home this evening into the alleged hazing death of a college sophomore. Seven former fraternity members in court today. The mom who had talked to her son before he went to that initiation ritual. She and her husband coming face to face with those blamed for the alcohol related death of their own son. Here's Stephanie Ramos. Tonight, the seven former members of Pi Kappa Alpha fraternity are all pleading not guilty to all charges in connection with the death of 20 year old Bowling Green State University sophomore Stone Foltz. Foltz died of alcohol poisoning three days after the fraternity allegedly held an initiation event in which Foltz and other incoming members were encouraged to drink an entire bottle of hard liquor each. Stone's family fighting for justice, remembering a phone call right before he went to that initiation. And he said, it's just part of the ritual. I have to, but I don't want to. Court will call state of Ohio versus Jacob Krenn. Prosecutors say he was brought home by other members, including Jacob Crint, Stone's fraternity big brother, who faces the most serious charge of first-degree manslaughter. Foltz's autopsy revealing a blood alcohol content nearly five times the legal limit. His parents inside the courtroom, emotional. There's really no way to truly prepare someone to come face-to-face -face with uh, the people that are responsible uh, for your son's death. The seven accused have been released on bond with conditions. Prosecutors say they're still investigating and more people could face charges. A pre-trial conference has been set for July. David. All right, Stephanie Ramos with us tonight. Steph, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.